Well, these findings are very important in disorders like post-traumatic stress disorder or drug addiction. Uh, one of the common uh, problems associated with these disorders is this obtrusive recall of memories that are either associated with the uh, fearful emotional experience such as in post-traumatic stress disorder patients or in people suffering from addiction they're often uh, exposed to cues, environmental cues that remind them of the rewarding effects of the drug and this can lead to drug relapse and that's one of the re really major problems uh, with the persistence of uh, addiction such as opiates. So what we found was a common mechanism in the brain that seems to be able to recall, uh, control the recall of both uh, aversive memories and memories that are associated with rewarding experiences such as drug addiction. So the article that we're about to have published describes our findings of um, an area of the brain called the prefrontal cortex and its ability to control the recall of both fearful and aversive memories and uh, that of rewarding memories. And specifically within this area of the prefrontal cortex it's dopamine D1 receptor transmission and the downstream mo molecule called cyclic AMP ability to actually control the recall of, of these types of memories. Well, you may be familiar with the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless yeah. Mind and in that movie they actually uh, attempted to actively uh, permanently erase memories that were associated with emotional experiences. The, the interesting thing about these findings is that we were able to uh, prevent the spontaneous recall of these memories, but the memories were still intact. So we weren't actually inducing any form of brain damage or actually affecting the integrity of the original memory.